Hello everybody. So like I said, I was going to make that jalapeno cheese bread. Let's just say I made it the first time and I forgot a couple crucial steps. So I'm making it again for you. So what we're going to start with, we got, I already measured it out because that's kind of boring. Three and a half cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of yeast. I'm using the Red Star Quick Rice. And then we need one and a half teaspoons of salt, uh, two to three cups of, I use sharp cheddar cheese for that little extra tang, and then we've got two sliced jalapenos. I'm just using a jar from Safeway of the pickled jalapenos. And then it's gonna be 13 ounces of water. So just a second, I just gotta get the water and we will be right back and we're gonna get this made. So stay tuned guys. Okay, here we go. We got our water. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna let it bloom in a bowl. It's in the ground right here. Got a, got a nice bowl here. And we're gonna let that sit for about five to 10 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're just gonna put the yeast in there. And you don't have to, but I like to. I have a, a Danish red whisk. I'm just gonna give it a pretty little stir just to incorporate it. It doesn't have to be done. Okay. There we go. Uh, see it? Hold on, I'll just tilt the camera down. There we go. So that's gonna bloom, and then I'll show you guys what, what that's like here in just a minute. We are gonna be doing this in a Dutch oven today. It's a no need jalapeno cheese bread. I have a 4.5 quart Dutch oven that I've got for Christmas. I am gonna probably exclusively use this thing for bread. That is my plan. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and get at least the salt added to the flour. Give that a good little mix, <clears throat> excuse me, a good little mix up. That way it's at least incorporated and it's ready to go. Simple, easy, no need. It just needs to rise. This thing's gonna be ready, guys, in about two and a half hours. Two hours, two and a half, just depends on how your temperature in your house is, things like that, um, how fast it's gonna rise for you. So, just a second, we'll be right back, and I'll show you how that yeast is looking. Okay, yeast is blooming. Take a look, this is what it looks like. See all the bubbles and stuff? So that's ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add that to our flour salt mixture. I'm just gonna get this. Okay. Don't mind the band-aids. I was uh, setting up my bread lane which is this little tool that I'm going to use to score the top. Very sharp razor blade. I cut two fingers. Everything's washed up. We're all ready to go. So, now that that's in there, I don't want to stir it yet. I'm going to put the cheese in. I'm going to kind of sprinkle it because it's kind of clumpy right now. And I am going to reserve about a quarter cup of this total cheese just to put on the top of the uh, bread on the, when it does the final bake. So, just a little bit. And then I, I do have more of these sliced jalapenos, so I'll do that. There's a little bit of the juice in here. It should be okay. It's not gonna add, add too much moisture, I think. And so I'm just going to stir it up. This is the Danish dough whisk, like I was talking about. It's fantastic. It's the best thing I've ever used for baking. Come on, get you up there. I don't have a chopped off head. It's the best thing I've used um, when I'm making my bread. Um, doesn't really get too sticky. Um, I mean, compared to a spatula, that's pretty darn good. So, this is gonna get mixed up, and not I'm not gonna overly mix it. I just want to incorporate anything that's in this bowl. I need that flour, the salt, maybe the cheese. So there's nothing left on the bottom. It doesn't have to be pretty. This is very sloppy dough. Okay, sloppy, sticky dough. That's okay though, all right? Uh, that's what we want. And what I'm gonna do, my house is probably about 68 degrees right now. What I'm doing is I'm gonna let this rise now in this bowl covered 
You can cover it with a lid. I got a lid, got these for Christmas, they're fantastic. Um, these bowls, um, and you can, like I said, the lid, you can use saran wrap, you can use press and seal, anything like that, as long as it's airtight. That's the, that's the main thing they want. So, I got this pretty much where I want it. And look at this. See I was talking about? You watch me. I didn't pick anything off. That's all that's on this bill list. That's, I love it. So, I'm washing dishes now, so put that in the sink. And now, just gonna pop this lid on it. Okay guys, it's been a couple hours. You can see how it went from a ball to very spread out. Smells amazing. So, all I'm gonna do now is gonna form it into a ball. And I have this little uh, bench scraper, I guess you would call it, or I'm not sure. Anyways, I got this guy. And I'm just going to bring y'all down, first off. There we go. I'm just gonna kind of form this into another ball, release some of those gases that are in there, get it all happy. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to get this, see I've got it pretty close to a ball, got me some parchment paper. I'm gonna do this early. I'm gonna let this uh, sit and get that in there real quick. Come on. Ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna put this in this bowl. It's not gonna go in without me pushing it in and putting something on it. So, this is gonna go in the bowl and it's gonna rise for 30 to 40 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to be heating up the oven to 400 degrees and I'm putting my Dutch oven I'm putting my Dutch oven in it. And what we want is we want the Dutch oven the same temperature as the oven when we start to cook this. And what's gonna happen is it's going to help steam this bread and cook it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Just down there. Bring this over here. And there we go. Okay, so right into this bowl. Look at that, coming out pretty clean. It's just as to me and you. There we go. All right. So then the sink. Now, just gonna let this rise for a little bit longer. So I am going to put the lid over it. I'm just going to throw this one on here. Kind of toss this stuff in there like that. It's covered. It'll work. In the meantime, we're going to turn this oven. Looks like I'm going to need to replace those. Okay, we're going to move this off to the side for a second. Got it. Turn our oven. 400 degrees and put the Dutch oven in. Now, I have this, if you're going from the bottom up on the third rack, okay? I don't want it to burn, but I want it very close to our heat source. So, that's gonna heat up right now for the next 40 minutes, and then we're gonna transfer the, hold on, I guess you don't need to see in here like that, huh? We're going to transfer the bread with the parchment paper into that Dutch oven and then it's going to cook. So, we'll be back soon. Alright, here we go. Let's check it out. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Alright, I'm going to quickly wrap the Dutch oven out of the oven. Okay, look. I don't know where it went, so I'm going to use my other one. So, whew, that's a warm one in there. Oh, okay, I'm going to just set the lid in there right now since it's so hot. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift this out, put it right in the Dutch oven. Now, what happened last time I made this, I forgot one crucial step. Well, first off, I'm going to cut some of this extra parchment paper off so I can get a good seal on the lid. What I 
I forgot last time. This is called a bread lane. And what this does is it's gonna put, I'm gonna put basically cutting an X or a cross or whatever you wanna call it, just depending on which way you're looking at it, in this bread. And what that's gonna do is that is going to let the bread open up a little bit than it would otherwise. Um, I'll show you a picture after this of what happened last time I made this where I forgot to do it. It ended up and it was just flat. So I got a little bit of cheese left over here and I've got some pickled jalapenos just for giggles and for the look of it. I'm going to put a few of these just on top of here just for uh, aesthetic value and things like that. Okay, got that. Got about the quarter cup of cheese left over. Uh, sprinkle that over the top of this. Okay, yeah, turn you. And maybe, maybe I'll bring you a little closer. How about that? All right, so there we go. You can see what I've done. It's ready to go. Just get the last of that cheese out of there. There we go. Now, it's ready to go. Now see what's cool is, I will be able to just lift this straight out of the oven and let it cool here in a second. So, back you guys up again. Woo! And, let's grab that lid. Put this on. And this baby is gonna go in the oven. I wanna say for 40 minutes. I think that's right. Yeah, 40 minutes at 400. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's been 40 minutes now. We're going to take this out. And this is optional. It depends on how you like your crust. If you like a chewy crust, you're going to take it out now. If, oh, sorry, I got the smell. If, on the other hand, you enjoy a little bit more of a crunchy crust, you're going to take the lid off of this and let it cook. You're going to let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. I am going to get my, my lane real quick again. I'm just going to cut where this cheese is so it can expand just a little bit more. The cheese sort of, uh, <laughs> oh no, it broke. Ah. It didn't break, it just fell apart. I'm just going to get my steak knife out. I'm going to let this have a little bit more room to do its thing. Yeah, see this thing is a razor blade on here and I, I, I don't want to cut myself again. A knife works just fine. I want a little bit more of a crunchy crust. So we're going to put this back in. So take a look at it. Oh, it's amazing. It smells like, I don't know, heaven. <laughs> So we're gonna let this go about another 10, 15 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll check it out. I got my little uh, rack out here, ready to let it sit on and let it back in a sec. Don't mind the sink, I just did some dishes, made myself a cup of tea. And now, well, guess who's trying to come in here? Dwayne's just in from working outside, been plowing all day. So let's check it out and see how it looks. Ooh, that looks, oh, now see what I mean about giving a little bit more time in there, a little bit brownie. Didn't split as much as I would have liked, but better than it did last time. If you see that picture I added a little while ago. Oven's off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm taking this out of here using, look at, look at that. So I'll let it sit on this rack to cool for a little while. Um, I'm going to say at least, oh, 20 minutes before I'm going to cut into it. I'd say at least 20. The other way that paper. Look at how beautiful that is. Ooh, it's a little hot. I can't really show you. Here, let's bring you a little closer. There we go. Look at that. Didn't that turn out gorgeous? Oh, I can't wait to get into it. So. We'll, uh, we're going to crack this baby open here soon. Um, 
I've had a chicken noodle soup cooking on the wood stove today. We we're going to do grilled cheese, but I thought, you know what, this sounds a little bit better. So we're going to have this with our, with our chicken noodle soup. So we'll be back to see how it turns out. Just a few. Okay, well, this is about enough to touch. So I'm going to take the rack. Not the sitting on here. And uh, just go ahead and we got our soup off the stove. I didn't use a Dutch oven today. I just used a regular pan. Got some beautiful chicken noodle soup. And we're going to go ahead and get this baby cut. Let's take a look and see how it turned out. Let's see, I'm gonna have to weigh and hold the camera here. Just a second, guys. All right, so let's see if you can get enough light in here. I'm just gonna cut this guy in half. Ooh, it's got a nice crust on it. Here's the best part about Butcher Block. I'm not ruining my countertops by cutting on it. We are gonna be refinishing them soon. All right, let's take a look. Look at that bread. It's got a little bit of moisture in it from the cheese. It's gonna be good dinner. Show them our soup that we got. Got a beautiful chicken noodle soup gonna have <laughs> tank there's our chicken soup right here gonna have that here for dinner here in a few minutes so we'll let you know how it turned out be right back okay we're gonna sit down and have our dinner and we're gonna watch some of our favorite youtubers right now so Oh, take a bite of it. See what you think. I'm curious if, if you think this is better than last time's. I made it last week with the fail. Better, huh? Yeah, not quite as spicy. Last week I decided to add some jalapeno powder to it. It was way too hot, but this is, I would say, perfect this time around. So... Anyways, um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of the content we have coming down the pipe, please do us a favor, subscribe, and like, and hit that notification bell. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.